In this tutorial, we will learn how to operate brushless motors using radio controller in ROS2. As we move joysticks, each brushless motor changes its rotation velocity accordingly. As control board, we are using Raspberry Pi. Brushless motors are widely used for drones and electric cars. So, being able to control brushless motors could be helpful for building your own drone or car. This is a circuit diagram. We supply 5 volts from an external power source for Raspberry Pi. Also, from the power ports of Raspberry Pi, we supply 5 volts to receiver and ESC. Motors are powered with 3 cell LiPo. The switch is required for safe initialization of ESC. Since we are programming the controller by ourselves, it is very important to consider safety measures to avoid the machine running out of control. Raspberry Pi can be used in conjunction with other sensors to create a custom controller. For example, the most commercially available flight controllers for drones are not made to work with cameras or laters. But in this case, we can program Raspberry Pi to control motors accordingly to center values obtained from these devices. Let's see how we convert signals from a transmitter and control ESC. Transmitter sends to a receiver an electric wave which contains encoded user inputs. User inputs are joystick moving amount. Usually, it is encoded as a pulse with width between 1000 microseconds and 2000 microseconds. As receiver receives this signal, we need to calculate pulse width obtained from transmitter. In this tutorial, we will do it using the callback function from the PyGPIO library. We will calculate it by subtracting raising edge time from falling edge time. This pulse width will be used for PWM control of ESC. Now, let's see ESC control. The ESC generally accepts a 50 Hz PWM input signal, pulse width of which varies from 1 millisecond to 2 millisecond. When supplied with a 1 millisecond width pulse at 50 Hz, the ESC responds by turning off the motor attached to its output. And when supplied with a 2 millisecond pulse it will rotate the motor with maximum speed. In this tutorial, to operate general purpose input outputs we will use the PyGPIO library. PyGPIO is a C library for Raspberry Pi which allows control of the GPIO. Firstly, go to this page. Open a new terminal. Copy the first line and execute it in the terminal. wget is a command that is used for downloading files from the web. Extract the downloaded zip file. Move to the extracted folder. Execute the make command. The make command compiles different program pieces and builds a final executable. The purpose of make is to automate file compilation, making the process simpler and less time consuming. Finally install the library using the make install command. By executing make install command, the make program takes the binaries from the previous step and copies them into some appropriate locations so that they can be accessed. Now, let's see the code. Please download the brushless project zip file from the Google Drive and extract it to your home directory. Move to the scripts directory. Open the brushless control script file. Here, we define pin numbers for PWM control of ESC, and pin number for receiving switch input. In these lines we define pin numbers for receiving pulse from the receiver. 
We note that these numbers do not correspond to the pin's physical location on the header. These numbers are numbers that go after these GPIO letters. Here, we define maximum and minimum pulse length to control the ESC. These are variables to record raising edge time. Here, we create an instance of the Pi GPIO Pi class. Set mode function sets the GPIO mode. Since we want to detect switch on and off states, we set the mode as an input. Set pull up down function sets or clears internal GPIO pull up or down resistor. Here we make sure that ESC does not start if the switch is turned on. By using the read function, we can get the GPIO level. If the switch is on, we notify the user to turn off the switch. Otherwise, we initialize maximum rotation value of ESC with maximum pulse width by using the set servo pulse width function. The selected pulse width will continue to be transmitted until changed by a subsequent call to set servo pulse width. Here we turn on the switch in order to make ESC operatable. In the GPIO callback function we are calculating pulse length obtained from each channel. In these lines, raising edge detected time is recorded. Then, when a falling edge of the same channel is detected, we calculate pulse width by subtracting raising edge detected time from falling edge detected time. In these lines, we define GPIO pins for receiving signals from the receiver and outputting control signals for ESC. Here, we are specifying callback method which calls a user supplied function whenever the specified GPIO edge is detected. In the brushless controller class, we define middle value of each joystick except throttle. Throttle initial position is the lowest position, so we don't need middle position of the throttle. This is range of stick movement and pulse width length. In timer callback function, we calculate joystick movement amount and add it to throttle value. This part of the code should be replaced according to application of your program. Now let's execute our program. Move to the brushless project folder. Execute the Colkin build command. Open a new terminal. Execute the pygpiod command. The pygpiod is a utility which launches the pygpio library as a daemon. Once launched, the PyGPIO library runs in the background accepting commands from the pipe and socket interfaces. The PyGPIO D utility requires pseudo privileges to launch the library but after launching, the pipe and socket commands may be issued by normal users. Turn on your transmitter and connect battery to the ESC. Don't forget to turn the switch off. Run brushless control pi script. Turn the switch on. We have successfully run the program. 